A lot of guys, when they go through a breakup, they'll continue to look at photos, they'll continue to think about old times, and all that will keep those pathways very strong and prevent you from moving on and prevent you from getting over it and getting past all the pain. So a question that's probably on your mind is, should you try to get the girl back? What's up guys? So breakups definitely suck. Okay, maybe you came to this video because you just went through a breakup or you just want advice on how to get over breakups quickly. Okay, if you've never experienced one, it can be very debilitating. It can really throw your whole life off and really upset you a great deal. Okay, and be hard to get over if you don't handle it properly. The first girl that I fell in love with at the end of college, we were in a relationship for like eight months and I broke up with her because I went off to graduate school and I didn't want to do a long distance thing. And what I did was I kept checking her social media. I would look at her Facebook page. I'd look at her Instagram and I would see her going out to parties or, you know, sometimes I would see her with a guy and then that would keep me stuck and, you know, experiencing pain for a lot longer than I should have. Right. And mutual friends would tell me if she was going on dates with new guys and stuff like that. And it took me a long time to get over it. I went and studied a lot more neuroscience after the fact, I read a lot of books on neuroscience and they explain in the books that the semantic representation in your mind of something is like a river trench and it's a function of frequency and recency. So the more often that you go down that path and the more recent it is, the deeper the pathway gets. So if you're used to seeing someone all the time and talking with them all the time and it's been very recent, it's going to be a very strong emotional connection over time, right? Like as you're not talking to them and not thinking about them, it's going to allow that trench to, to build back up. And that's the process of like healing that people talk about where you're getting over it. But in the beginning, it feels almost like a drug withdrawal that can literally be the same neurologically because you had this thing that was around all the time and now it's gone. And there's like this almost like withdrawal factor. So what you don't want to do is be continuously checking up on them through social media or remaining in contact with them. Each time that you message with them, each time that you look at their social media profiles, each time that you look at old photos, what that's doing is keeping you perpetually stuck because remember frequency plus recency. So a lot of guys, when they go through a breakup, They'll continue to look at photos. They'll continue to think about old times. They'll continue to check up on the girl through social media and stuff like that, or stay in communication on some level. And all that will keep those pathways very strong and prevent you from moving on and prevent you from getting over it and getting past all the pain. So I've helped a lot of guys that have come out of divorces or that have come out of relationships and they're really feeling beaten down. And you can feel like very vulnerable during that time as well and lacking confidence and, and questioning your own self-worth. Okay, if some girl, especially if you were the one that got broken up with, you might be wondering, oh, am I good enough? You know, what's wrong with me? This girl doesn't like me. You know, maybe I'm not good enough for other girls, et cetera, et cetera. As I said, the important steps to take, number one, you ideally want to block all contact. So block the phone number, block her on social media. And number two is stop trying to look at her different social media things or finding out about her. And that includes mutual friends telling you stuff about her as well. If I go through a breakup, I'll tell my friends, I don't wanna hear about her anymore, the mutual friends. If someone tells me something about her, I give them a, a firm warning, you know, don't talk about her anymore, I don't wanna hear about her anymore. If they keep telling you stuff about the girl, then that's something you need to address with that friend. Okay, you might need to, to set a boundary with that friend and say, hey, I can't talk to you anymore until you're gonna to commit to the fact that you're not gonna speak about her anymore because this is gonna cause you more pain and prolong the suffering that's taking place. Number three, when you're ready, it's good to start trying to go out and meet other people. So you can go on the online dating apps, you can go out to bars and clubs potentially, and try to meet new people that are not only going to help distract you, but form new connections that you can focus on instead of being perpetually stuck on this old thing that was from the past. But for getting back into the game, to know the exact strategies for how to set up your online profile, to how to showcase the best version of yourself on apps like Tinder and Bumble and Hinge, how to talk to women in public, how to do the whole cold approach portion, how to text and do your online game messaging, how to run your dates, what to do when you get the girl back home. I have put all that together in a very straightforward system. You can book a free call with the link in the upper left corner or in the pinned comment or description 
and someone from my team will go over the different options for the programs that we offer and how we can help get you back in the game very quickly. Another thing that can be very helpful is to write out a list of all the negative things. You can look at like this person was doing this and doing this and doing this and this was impacting my life in a negative way and this was upsetting me and so on and so forth and that can help you to put things in perspective because that emotional attachment and the feelings that you're experiencing are going to cloud your judgment. Lots of times once all the emotions have passed and a person can look at things logically for what they are, they're like, wow, what was I doing, right? But the emotions cloud the judgment. So it's important to have a list of the negative things. That was the same technique that I used when I quit drinking four years ago. Yeah, I wrote a whole list of all the negative aspects that alcohol brought to my life and you can write out which ones are deal breakers and then reference that list in times of weakness or just to give yourself a good reminder for why you have made the move that you did. So a question that's probably on your mind is should you try to get the girl back? Okay, and that's really dependent on the situation. If something happened that was like really extreme and it's like a dead end and there's no chance of repairing it and there's no chance of you guys working things out and getting back together, then it's best to follow the strategies that I laid out and to just move on. If it was some big fight that you had and you still love the person and, and you think that you can work through it, then it's best to try to meet up with them and have an honest conversation about the things that are upsetting you, what's upsetting her, and try to come to some sort of resolution. It's best to have ground rules, like you're not gonna yell, you're not gonna insult each other, you're gonna be respectful, et cetera, et cetera, and not interrupt the person and, and let each side be heard and stuff like that. Typically when, when emotions are running high, people will just be trying to make their point and talk over the other person, they're not even really listening, and they're just on, you know, kind of in a mode where they're just attacking. If you wanna work through those things, it's best to have a calm, adult conversation and try to come up with a plan and a strategy to resolve whatever it is that that caused things to go south and again i've helped lots and lots of guys that are fresh out of breakups or divorces or maybe even it's not even recent but you've had trouble getting back on your feet maybe you're still dealing with the emotional pain maybe it stripped you of your your confidence and your feelings of self-worth so i can help you i know exactly how to deal with these situations i've helped countless guys before you and we can show you exactly how to believe in yourself again have a positive mindset and realize what you bring to the table so that you can feel like you have good self-worth and good confidence and then once you're equipped with the optimal strategy and tactics that can allow you to make all the proper moves so that you can start getting a bunch of new date opportunities and going out and meet people that hopefully are a good replacement for this person. And I know in the beginning, it seems like the world is ending and, and no one will ever be able to replace that person and, and nobody will ever be good enough and stuff like that. And that's a lot of the emotions at play. By distancing yourself, cutting off contact and stopping to, to do the little checks on social media and hearing you know third party things from friends that will go a long way to help you get over things as quickly as possible i urge you if you want to utilize all the optimizations that i built into my system get on one of the calls in the upper left corner or with the link in the description or pinned comment ask any questions that you have regarding breakups or feel free to share your own experiences for others to see and relate to down in the comments make sure you like the video subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and check out my other video on the end screen for more on this topic. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.